And it's Bonnie. Happy Tuesday. I am back. Oh my gosh. I had so much fun doing that date night video. <laughs> that was a blast. I feel like I'm like a poor example of uh, picking date night since based on the fact that I don't go out much, but it was still a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. So tonight, oh my gosh, I am burning Bath and Body Works, pink lavender and espresso. And oh my goodness, this smells really good. Can we have a body care? in this scent, like an aromatherapy, because this feels like a high-end spa scent. I love this one. I would love um, like a sea salt um, like scrub in this. I know, I don't know if it would work with the sea salt. Maybe it'd have to be sugar. Might have to be a little bit sweeter, but I'd love a scrub in pink lavender and espresso. That would be amazing. So Bath and Body Works, um, the spring candle like rollout has been a really kind of funky, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Like we haven't gotten a lot of foodie scents and it's kind of like scattered in my opinion. We haven't gotten like a big collection and um, we really don't have a candle sale like at all. I'm like the 10 off one, not so good. Uh, we really need a buy to get to sale on the candles like soon because <laughs> we're going to be going into Easter. I'm like, what the heck is going on? But if we get a candle sale, put this one on your list. It is called Pink Lavender and Espresso, and it's in um, this pink jar. I've actually, this is the second time I've burned this one, and um, it's absolutely delightful for day or evening. Um, it's a really nice scent. So the scent notes on this one are rich pink lavender, caramel espresso beans, and smooth vanilla. So it smells like a combination of like a lavender marshmallow mixed with like a whipped coffee. Um, it's lighter than Paris Cafe, but it's stronger than whipped coffee in my opinion. Um, and they just mesh together really well. Like I said, this is something that you'd smell like if you walked into like a really high end like spa and, um, you just know it smells good, like the minute you walk in. The throw is nice on this one, too. I was really surprised. Um, I like that the lavender does not overpower, like, the vanilla caramel espresso. They just kind of, like, mesh together <laughs> in a really nice way. I wasn't sure I was going to love this one. I liked it on cold, but I thought it was either going to be too light or too lavender, and it was neither. It's like the perfect combination. Um, do you remember Dream in the Sky? I just had that one. Um, I still have my sense here from yesterday when I did the um, office. Yes, here it is. So when I did the uh, what tour in an, in an office. Why can't we have Dream in the Sky back? This is one of my favorite scents. Um, this is the only one I have. I used my other one. Um, I feel like it's that lavender in Dream of Dream in the Sky, because this has got like a marshmallow note in it. This was before we had the scent notes on the bottle. Um, but I love this scent so much. It's got like the Dream in the Sky vibe, but then it kind of mixes in a little bit of like espresso, coffee, vanilla. And like I said, they just like, um, they play together really, really well. And I would say the throw is like a medium high, which I was surprised because I was like, now it's going to be low. Um, so if you don't like a really like strong lavender, um, I, th I think you're still going to like this one because it's like the relaxing lavender. It's like the re lavender that you like want to like just sit there and go, ah, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's relaxing. It's got a spring vibe. Um, you know which one this would go really nicely with? Uh, pink, lilac, and vanilla. I feel like this could be like the perfect Easter candle. I actually want another one of these. Um, pink, lilac, and vanilla is one of my all-time favorite Easter candles, and I think this is like number two now. Um, I think they would complement each other well if you had both of them burning, because that would be like vanilla, lavender, lilac, an espresso. I think I'm going to try that. I'm going to do my own little mashup going on here. So um, yay. I don't know what's happening right now with candles. Like I said, we're in a little bit of a uh, candle sale lull and a, um, a selection lull. I just, how many candles do we have on Bath and Body Works, by the way? I wanted to check. How many candles, candles, all candles, uh, three wick, three wick. How many do we have? 121. Uh, but a lot of them are, oh, a lot of them are Christmas. Oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't even realize this. So they lowered 
the Christmas candles down to ten dollars and sixty cents. I did not even realize that. So, um, oh, and Tree Farm is ten twenty. Oh, they didn't do all of them though. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> Tree Farm's ten twenty. Uh, Tis the season is ten sixty, and then Fresh Balsam is ten sixty. You know what? If you like Fresh Balsam or Tis the season. I think I would stock up now for next year. Doesn't matter what the jar looks like, but my goodness, the way candle prices have been going up, I think it's worth it uh, to stock up on some of these and just put them away for next year. Um, but I don't know. I just don't feel like we have a ton of like new selections because like this collection, um, where did it go? Where did it go? Uh, right here, like the Sapphire Quartz. They've been around forever, so hopefully we're going to get some new candles soon. But in the meantime, if you're looking for a good one to burn, um, the pink lavender and espresso is my recommendation. Anyway, have an awesome night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.